The revised $8 plan now includes 228 gigabytes of local data, catering to data-heavy users. It also offers 10 gigabytes of APAC roaming, 588 minutes of talk time, 288 minutes of id for international calls, and 88 local SMS, making it a well-rounded package. The $18 plan goes further with 588 gigabytes of local data, ideal for streaming, gaming, and remote work. It offers 58 gigabytes of Malaysia roaming, 12 gigabytes of APAC roaming, and 6 gigabytes of international roaming. Additionally, it includes 888 minutes of talk time, 388 minutes of id, and 188 local SMS, providing comprehensive coverage for various needs. These enhanced plans are designed to attract data-heavy users and frequent travelers. Despite generous data allowances, some may still be skeptical. Due to past issues like number porting difficulties, coverage gaps, and inconsistent roaming call quality, these concerns could deter potential customers from switching. Interestingly, the large data allowances especially in the $18 plan position these plans as potential alternatives to home broadband for users in areas with limited fixed line options. The $8 plan, with 228 gigabytes of data, could even lead users to reconsider their current broadband subscriptions. A key question is whether competitively priced mobile data plans will encourage users to drop traditional triple play bundles TV, broadband, and voice services in favor of mobile broadband. With the $8 plan offering such a low-cost option, budget-conscious customers might be tempted to shift away from fixed-line services, possibly disrupting the market further. However, users might worry about the quality of service, particularly network speed during peak times or network congestion. Although the plans are affordable, concerns about weak reception and inconsistent coverage could make some customers hesitant to switch, especially if they've experienced signal issues before. These plans resemble those offered by Simba, another provider known for competitive pricing and generous data allowances. However, AIDS voice roaming service is not available in all countries, which could be a drawback for frequent travelers who rely on voice roaming abroad. Additionally, the aggressive pricing strategy raises questions about profitability. Offering large data allowances at low prices may squeeze profit margins, especially if many users switch to these cheaper plans. While the goal may be to increase market share, maintaining network infrastructure could become costly, potentially impacting overall profitability. The big question now is how competitors will respond. Will they offer more data and roaming options, or will they pivot towards bundling mobile and broadband services? As competition heats up, consumers can expect either more aggressive data plans or innovative packages from rival operators.